In this video, I'm going to show you one of the most underrated passing routes out of the trips tight end formation in Madden 24. This is going to be the play PA shot wheel. We are in the Packers offensive playbook. We're going to show you why this play is so versatile and, and really usable. Okay. So what I like to do with this setup here is basically a couple different things that we can do to really make this play go. But what I like to do is to utilize a zig route to the circle receiver. And then I'm going to utilize a slant route to the middle trips receiver. And I do like to streak my tight end to help kind of clear out some space for this post. But you'll see what this post is. It's going to run. It's going to get inside leverage against press man. So you can free form that inside once he gets that separation against press man. This is going to cause your opponent to have to have some different variations of safety help. Right. So they're going to have to have some safety help. And really, they're going to have to kind of user it. It's going to be one of those routes that it's hard to guard, hard to guard if you are not using it. Now, the next route that we have um, on this play is we're going to have this whip route against press man. This is pff, uh, the best man beater in the game, in my opinion. It's, it's very consistent against man. And as you can see right there, very good, very effective. So we have that against man. So what are they going to have to do to stop that? Well, they're going to have to have a hard flat on the field specifically to that left-hand side. And then, again, back to the whole purpose of the defense here, they're probably going to have to use her the deep post, right? And the reason why is because of this tight end streak. So because of this tight end streak, even if they do put any kind of like inside third or middle third defender, you're going to see here if I can wait on this post, he's going to cut, and I can throw this. i got to free form a little better than that. But basically, he's going to cut across the middle, and when he does, that is where, you know, I want to hit him with the, with the pass. So uh, let me try to show that again. And let me put that middle third defender there. So what you're going to see now, and again, if they go to user that, then you're going to check down to your slant, which we'll show in a minute. Basically, freeform down and inside, and you're going to ag catch the ball. And as you see, you get this dive catch animation. And I find this dive catch animation is actually really consistent um, because of the fact that we're basically clicking onto the player and we're going to make the catch happen. you got to be careful, and, and I would spend some time in practice kind of labbing this, but you're going to see we're going to get this inside position. And right about there, so freeform down and inside, and you see that that is open. It's an open pass because of the tight end streak. It's what makes everything go on this play. So you have a really cool little man beater. Now, some things your opponents will do is they'll start to maybe do an adjustment like this right here, which I actually think is pretty good um, to basically try to like scissor it. And then when they do that, what's going to happen is that safety is going to have some inside leverage on the route. Okay. So the safety has inside leverage on the route because it's an S post though. See how it cuts sharply inside and then it still gets that inside position. Again, biggest thing with this is you want to free form down and inside and it's really important on this play. So they have to use her this route. It is the best route of the play, and they're going to have to use her it really to take it away. Okay. Again, if you can master throwing this, it will take your Madden game to a whole other level. Okay. But the beauty of this is we also have this backside slant underneath. It's going to really great serve as a great little check down on this play because they can't really get back down with their user because of the way the route, the S post has to be user. Okay. So you take this concept and you're going to now apply it to zone. So the beauty of how this applies to zone is your zig is going to pull the flat. You're going to have that slant open up. And then this S post passing that down in the zone. And this is where it's really good because it comes over the middle of the field super sharp. Does that little tail. And there's really not a zone in the game that is going to guard that S post. The S post to me is one of the best ways to attack zone this year because of how good and how sharp it cuts underneath any kind of deep defender. Now, the mid-read does kind of play it, I will say, um, but typically your opponent is going to be using that defender. And if they are going to use a mid-read, you have your backside slant. You have other routes on this play that are going to be wide open. So you can hit your backside slant. You'll see right here when he cuts inside, just check down to the slant route. The mid-read is probably going to be their user, right? So they're probably going to be usering the post. But 
again, if it's, let's say they're using somebody else and I just want to show you how this interaction with the mid read works. If you could wait on this post a little bit, you might have a window on this. Basically what you'll see is he's going to cut inside pass lead down right there, ag catch or possession catch it in front of the mid read, just like that. Now the last coverage that I want to go over is really a cover three, but we're going to help it out a little bit by putting a deep half to the safety. So it looks like this. And what you'll see with this is, again, the streak to the tight end will pull the third. And you're going to pass lead this down. And that was terrible. Um, we got kind of randomly matched there. I'll show that again. So against cover three here, let's just do this. And don't want any of the pass rush to kind of interfere with this. Again, you are blocking six. So you should have some time. Basically, you'll see you wait on this tight end. I'm gonna throw this. Eh, kind of a terrible throw from the quarterback there. You can also throw this early. This this specific right, you can also throw early. So the reason the tight end is not clearing out is because we have the trips to the field. If you have your trips to the short side, it will clear out better. So and I'll, and I'll show that real quick. So here we are, trip short side, tight end streak, and this will clear this third out a little better. You'll see right here that third will run with him, and then you throw underneath just like that. And the cover four stuff all still applies. But I did want to also say that you can actually throw this really early in the, in the route too, depending on what other zones they have on the field. And it's because of the zig. So the zig is going to pull the outside third defender outside, Pass like this down, you're just ag catching it right in front of him, just like that. It's one of my favorite plays in the game. And, and again, if you can figure out how to truly master throwing this S post against man to man, um, you can throw it early, but you see there that if I'm not careful with that pass lead, see how it can cause uh, problems. So, what I like to do is more so just be patient. With this, when he cuts inside, free form down inside and you're ag catching the ball, and you see how you can literally cut this off against any coverage in the game as long as you run this with your trips to the short side. You also, by running this with your trips to the short side, your uh, tight end route is going to do a better job uh, at, at clearing out any kind of cover three or cover four for that matter. Um, and I'll show you cover four one more time. Again, with man coverage, you're trying to wait for that second cut inside. That's the key to this. There it is, free form down, possession, easy reads, easy money. This play is really good. If you want to get my entire trips tied in offensive ebook, make sure you join the Patreon. I'm going to put a link to that down below. But Patreon members get access to literally everything, all ebooks, all updates, everything for just $10. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.